This is NEC Basketball Virtual Media Day. Dave Popkin, Joe DeSantis, and our NEC Hoops Insider, Ryan Peters, joining us for the Merrimack Warriors, the regular season champions last year in the NEC. They won 14 games in league play. They were picked last. They finished in first. Uh, that zone on steroids, the zone on Red Bull uh, for Joe Gallo, our reigning Jim Fallon, NEC Coach of the Year, Devin Jensen, one of the top returning players in the NEC, also with us. Uh, Coach, I'll start with you. You're just out of practice. Uh, how are things looking for your club? Things are great. You know, we like everybody, we're, um, you know, times are, are obviously different. We're kind of transitioning um, with different phases and how much we can do each week. So uh, yesterday was the first day we could actually get the full team together. Um, we, had a, we had a great workout and we we're about halfway through one uh, right now as well that Dev and I just stepped out for a bit. But um, it was good to get the, the whole crew back together again and, and things are looking good. Coming from, um, Joe, from Division Two last year, I'm sure you were optimistic, cautiously optimistic. Yeah. You, you had non-conference wins at Hartford, at Jacksonville, at Army, and then at Northwestern. So you kind of felt you were going to be okay. What was the key point of the NEC season that you said to yourself and to your staff and your team, you know what, we can win this thing? I think it would have to be after that, uh, the Western PA swing. Um, you know, we, we had, uh, we opened up the year with a, a win at Sacred Heart, which was huge. I think they were, you know, preseason uh, top two or three and uh, kind of a, made a little bit of a statement winning that game uh, on the road to start. Um, and then we got, uh, we got beat up a little bit by Robert Morris at home. It was, you know, we played well for about 35 minutes, but, you know, being part of that staff with Andy, you know, they, there's sometimes that three, four minute stretch where um, as hard as they play, they can kind of overwhelm you a little bit. And I thought that happened. And then uh, when we were able to get that win back on the road at Robert Morris, and then we went and, you know, beat St. Francis on the road. Uh, being in the league as an assistant, I don't think, uh, which is what I love about him, I don't think my guys realized how big of a feat that was, that it doesn't happen very often. Um, but as, you know, myself and, and Phil, who has played in the league, we kind of looked at each other after that one and um, thought we had something pretty good going. Devin, you lose three starters, three of your friends and teammates to graduation who had fine seasons, Javaris Hayes, Jaleel Lord, Idris Joyner. So that begs the question, what are you being asked to do now to help fill the void? Um, so last year, I was just the guy that would take the good shot, good three. But now, uh, just to get my attempts up and try to contribute more, a little more on the offensive end. Um, and then we've had the luxury of all those freshmen playing last year. So we have uh, some good sophomores under our belt and returners like me and Mikey. So I have um, one more for, for Devin and also for Coach. Um, Tremendous shooter. We can honestly say that you're probably the best shooter in the conference. What do you think is the most important thing with your shooting routine? Like, what would you advise a younger player? How would you advise them how to get better in terms of being a, a great shooter? Well, other than just getting in the gym and working hard uh, just to get up as many shots as you can, it's also, I think, the biggest thing for me is just having that confidence. Like, I guess hard work breeds confidence, but just like knowing every shot I think is going to go in. I think that's the biggest, uh, biggest point in shooting. And coach, along the same lines, uh, as Dave mentioned, you went, I mean, you had great players last year. You lost the St. Anthony trio. That's going to hurt. For sure. But, um, coach Gallo, um, you're going to win with your system. Yeah. Your zone on steroids, as, as Dave said, um, on Red Bull. Can you pinpoint the most important thing concept in that zone defense i think it's the uh probably the activity right if you you if you came and watched us practice um we don't do a whole lot of conditioning our conditioning is our defensive segments so you you uh you play a 25 second uh defensive possession that, that with the activity we play it uh, you know, guys are breathing heavy, especially early on. We can only go about four or five possessions at a time and guys are gas. So, you know, we build that up. And you know, I think when you're preparing for us, we always say you can prepare for what we do. You can't prepare for the speed we do it at. Um, and, and you could see it sometimes in the first four minutes of a game and, you know, kind of guys are, are deers and headlights with their eyes wide open. Like, whoa, I didn't realize these guys kind of run around this fast and the activity level is what it is. So uh, if I could pinpoint one word, it would definitely be the activity level.
The Merrimack Warriors are with us, Coach Joe Gallo, Devin Jensen, and Ryan Peters is with us as well, the uh, Blue Ribbon College Basketball Yearbook writer. Uh, Ryan, what do you have for these guys? So, Joe, obviously, you guys were terrific. Defensive efficiency first in the league last year. You lose Javaris Hayes, one of the greatest theft artists in the history of the NCAA. But how can your, how can your zone defense actually improve moving forward, even without Hayes, Joyner, and Lord? You know what? I think um, what helped is we also probably have the second best theft guy um, in, in the league that was sitting right next to him on that same roster. So, uh, you know, Mikey Watkins now becomes – you know, our mark is smart, our, our defensive kind of captain, so to say. Uh, one thing I think we have a little bit more this year is we have some size. Uh, I'm hoping that leads to, you know, two, two things that hurt us a little bit. We fouled a little bit too much for my liking and, and our rebounding. Um, our front line now with, you know, uh, guys like Devin and Ziggy Reed and Jordan Minor, uh, I think when you have a little more size, it leads to, you know, better rebounding and a little bit less fouling because you're kind of in better position. You could kind of square some guys up and wall some guys up and, you know, not reach as much. But um, I don't want that to take away from our aggressiveness, uh, but we do have some good size on that front line. Who, who are the leading scorers in this team? You know, I think Ziggy Reed is a guy who can make that step from freshman to sophomore. Obviously, Jordan Miner's a beast on the offensive glass. You know, you have, we, we talked about Watkins a little bit. Who are the leading guys? You know what? I think we'll be similar to, to last year where you have um, a handful of guys averaging between, you know, seven and 11 points a game. You know, Dev, uh, like Dev mentioned, he was, you know, he led the league in three-point percentage. Uh, I'd love for him to lead the league in, in three-point attempts. You know, when I told him, he said, yeah, I only take good ones. I said, well, stop taking only good ones. We need you to take – your bad ones are worth about as much as a okay shooter's good ones. So uh, we got to get him to, to take a couple more a game and – you know, Mikey will do his scoring. Uh, I think Ziggy will. Um, he's a guy that could score inside and out. Like you mentioned, Jordan Miner is uh, a load in the paint. So I, I, if I had to guess, we're going to have four or five guys between, you know, seven and 11 points a game. And, you know, that's kind of the way these guys like it with sharing the ball. Yeah, and Devin, you're, you're a terrific three-point shooter. But is there anything else you've worked on this offseason to expand your offensive game? Um, just I was always actually really bad at the defense my first two years. so. I kind of got really good at the defense, worked on my body this summer, and then just still with the shooting, uh, just try to get a little more ball handling in. So, All right, Devin, Coach, thanks very much. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, stay safe. That's the Merrimack Warriors joining us here. NEC Virtual Media Day, Mount St. Mary's, the Mountaineers, coming our way in just a little bit.